The overall goal of this procedure is to perform transretinal electroretinogram recordings from isolated intact mouse retina to obtain rod and cone driven photoresponses. First, glass capillaries and a perfusion chamber are prepared for recordings. Both eye cups from dark adapted mouse are hemisected under infrared illumination and cornea, lens and vitreous are removed. The retina is peeled from the pigment epithelium and placed on the filter paper photoreceptor side up. The retina on the filter paper is transferred to the perfusion chamber on the microscope stage and placed between two electrodes connected to the head stage of a differential amplifier. Finally, rod and cone mediated photoresponses are recorded from the flat mounted mouse retina. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods like classical single cell recordings is that it allows drug accessible long time recordings from rod and cone photoreceptors from wild type and genetically modified mice. It is becoming particularly useful for obtaining stable photoresponses from the scarce and fragile mouse cones. Begin by preparing the glass capillaries. Make 10 milliliters of 1.2% agar in a hot water bath. Fill glass capillaries with the agar solution using a plastic syringe, where the agar quickly solidifies. Cut the capillaries into halves using a diamond knife. Soak the resulting glass electrodes in mouse electrode solution for at least 24 hours at 4 degrees Celsius. Now prepare the microscope. Generally, to minimize mechanical and electromagnetic noise, mount the microscope on an...